This is the Sunrise Pear Dwarf. About to start blooming. I'll have to knock the blooms off. This is the Cortland Apple. It's a semi dwarf. It is just starting to. Probably ain't even going to be able to see it. The, uh, the buds are just starting to tip out here. You can see one right there. It's got a little bit of color if it'll come into focus. Yeah. Oh, well. This over here is the Seckle Pear. Back here we have a Liberty Apple. Just starting to uh, show some green there on the very tips. So the... Um, the Sunrise Pear and the two apples that are in this box are planted last fall. The Seckle Pear was planted last year. Um, these are my 4x4 four four plums. This one is an Ozark Premier. Got a few flowers, quite a bit of leaves. This one is... I will probably have to go figure out through my records what this one is. Quite a bit of leaves on it. The one next to it is a methylly plum. Has quite a bit of leaves, a few flowers in the top. This one is bubblegum plum has a lot of flowers so all of these are um, three-year-old trees this one is a new one I planted in the fall it is a Hellhaven peach has a few flower buds on it I will have to get rid of those I can't let it flower too young Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Actually, can't let you have flowers this young. This one is also a new one I planted in the fall. Katharina peach. So far, I've not seen anything out of it. Not even so far as swelling buds or anything. So, I'm not sure... This one is also a peach. Has the red flowers. It is an intrepid. The weird thing about this is it grew and then died and then come back. And I don't know that it actually come back as an intrepid. It may. It's kind of hard to tell where the... Uh, you know, looking at the base, it's hard to tell if that's actually part of the graft or if that is something else. This one is now four years old. This one is also now four years old. It is Reliance. It has a lot of flowers on it this year. It should be due for it to fruit. These are all apples this is a gold rush dwarf supreme just started to show some color this one is a John or free apple just starting to show some color those were both both new last fall these are uh, this is a Lodi this one may actually fruit this year. I got it in an open center. And this one is a Stark Golden Delicious Apple. It's also showing some signs of growth. So these two apples that I, the last two apples, these are three, three years old and they are, they were bought on XL stock so they're probably more like four or five years old these 
are all raspberries I planted last year. There's six of them. All of those are showing signs of growth. This is a new North Star cherry tree that I planted last fall. Just starting to show some signs of growth on it. This is a Montmorency cherry that I planted. I can't remember if that was last year or the year before. It's starting to show some growth. And then over there is my two varieties of blackberries. It's about a 65 foot long path. Let me pause this and go down to where my figs and pawpaws are at. This is actually an unknown grapevine. It creates black grapes. I bought it. It was mislabeled. It is just starting to show some bud swell. Don't really see any color on it yet. Um, but it did actually fruit last year. I think I got a handful of grapes. Wasn't a lot, but it was. This is a fig tree. This will be the third year that I've had it. It's a Chicago fig. It died last year. Basically got, you can kind of see all the dark color. And there's the original stock. And then it sent up these shoots that grew. So it fruited. The first year that I planted it, then it got frostbite and it sent up new uh, new pieces out of the ground there and uh, never fruited last year, but the, the very base of that's got some green in it. I don't think it got it all. So we'll wait and see what happens to it. This is... One of my pawpaw trees. This is a Wells pawpaw. This is one of the... The pawpaws have been here the longest. They've been here five years. You see that? That's barely three foot tall. They grow very, very slow. This is another pawpaw. It's a prolific. Same deal. Barely three feet tall. This is yet another pawpaw. This is SAA Overlease. It actually died last year. What happened was it started to fruit. It started or it flowered like up here in the very top. It's only about two feet tall. And I didn't see it flower. And it basically killed itself. Well, then this part here come back and it grew all of this last year. <laughs> So it grew, you know, and the tree's five years old. So in one year, it grew one branch taller than the whole tree was. This is another variety of pawpaw. This one is a sunflower. It's about four feet tall. It has a lot. Kind of see them there. I counted, I think, 19. 19 flower buds on it this year and a few uh, in between leaf buds so uh, if I remember right this variety also potentially fruits quicker than the other ones they normally take about eight years and this is yet another pawpaw this is a Pennsylvania. Just starting to show just a little bit of bud swell on the ends. It's always had this weird crook in the end of it. <sighs> so then I have another fig here. Another Chicago fig. I cut it back quite a ways. Um, it didn't fruit last year either. It got really huge, but didn't fruit. Then up here I have two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. I have eight 
blueberries up here. I have three more blueberries and another part of the yard. So that's pretty much the fruits and orchards. I've also got to plant for this year. I've got two American chestnuts that are going to go up in the main orchard that's way up there that where the all the other fruit trees are at. Um, it's actually going to go on the outside boundary of those. They got to be spaced about 40 feet apart and I'm going to use them on the northern side of the orchard. So two American chestnuts. I have two hazelnut trees that only get about 11 foot tall so they're going to go in the main part of the orchard. And then I have four gooseberries, two green varieties, two red varieties that I'm going to be planting during the coronavirus thing while I'm stuck. This is kind of my garden, still pretty mess right now. I should be way farther along in it than what I am. And I've basically been over there stuck building that addition to the goat barn for the milk room. So that down there is my chicken coop and run on the right. I currently have uh, seven hens and two roosters. The second rooster was an accidental rooster. Um, then next to that, I've got my goat area where that uh, awning is at. And then the awning is attached to like a sleeping area that's got a bunch of hay and stuff in it and a hay feeder. Then attached to that, in between that part and the chicken coop is the milk room that I'm still building. So that pretty much is my property. I've got rabbits. These are my breeding rabbits here. And uh, up here, my blackberries. Um, these are Prime Arc Freedom and Prime Arc 45, and I can't remember which is which. They are starting to come back to life. One is thornless, the other one is not, but they're showing some life already. Of course, the shadow is going to be cast on them, so they've pretty much all woken up now. A lot of people have asked me, or a few people have asked me, not a lot. But let me show you something. So I've got a uh, section here that's six feet wide. Then I've got a section here. It's about 15 feet, maybe 20 feet wide. And then I got this section here that has my raised bed, high density fruit trees. And I think it's about um five six seven eight nine it's about 12 feet wide so the i was going to do another row of these beds down this center but i i keep running into issues for instance uh, there's a lot of rocks and this is hard clay soil and you can tell that you know that's the size of my foot that are pretty low to the ground. You can see like over here too. And it takes hours to dig these out. I've had, I actually had one or two that took a couple days just to dig out a rock. So that's why I went with the raised beds. Now when I did the blackberries, I luckily got, I didn't have that much. So, but I'm going to do probably, um, the new beehives are going to go here, kind of up in the center and where the top of that like in the middle of that hill and then i'm probably going to have some sort uh, a few more trees here i plan to put another fig right there in that spot then probably the two like back here close to where these fence posts are at i plan to put a the hazelnuts and then over here i plan to put one of the American chestnuts and up there I plan to put another American chestnut that's the northern part so north is that way then that way I've got sunlight starts rises east over there that's basically due south and you can tell the sun is setting that's west over there so uh, this is kind of my property layout